Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 24 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 23. Now let's understand the anomalous property of second period elements. So it has been observed that the first element in each group, we have these groups we have, right? The first element in this group differs from the other element in the group. They have some different properties. For example, if you see my lithium, I'll draw something like this. Uh, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium. These are my elements in group 1. Right? So lithium, unlike other group 1 or alkali matter, and beryllium also I'll draw this guy. Um, beryllium, magnesium, calcium, this crontium, barium like this. So if you see, this, this is my group uh, alkali metal, alkaline earth metal group. So lithium, unlike other alkali metal, and beryllium, unlike other alkali metal, they form compounds with covalent character. And other members, if you see, they all form ionic compound. If you see NaCl, KCl, all are ionic. But this guy, lithium, and uh, beryllium, they form covalent character compound. And these other guys form ionic compounds. Right? The property is different. And if you see the lithium and beryllium, their property is more similar with the second element of following group. For example, lithium has properties similar to magnesium. And if you if you draw one more group here, right? So if you draw one more group here, let me write right here the my let me draw my uh, 13th group. It is boron, aluminium, gallium, helium, thallium, like that. And the manganese, sorry, the beryllium has properties similar to aluminium. That's what they have seen. So this is all diagonal. So let me draw like this lithium, beryllium, boron. Right? Then you have sodium, magnesium. Aluminium, we can draw carbon, we have silicon, we have nitrogen, phosphorus, oxygen, chlorine, sulfur, chlorine, right? So if you see that lithium has a property similar to manganese, beryllium has property similar to aluminium, boron has property similar to silicon, carbon similar to phosphorus, something like this. Right? And this sort of similarity is called diagonal relationship in periodic property. And this happens only for the this is only for the first period and second period. Sorry, second and third period. This is second, second period and third period. This this issue is only in second and third period. So this from here onwards, if you see the properties are matching. Right? Lithium, magnesium, calcium, the property matches. But lithium has property more similar to magnesium than with sodium, right? And this is generally due to very small size. These guys for second period and uh, elements, right? They are very small size and very charge to uh, radius ratio, and they are very high electronegativity. And that's the reason why uh, this anomaly happens, right? Also, one more reason why it happens is because this guy. Uh, elements in this period, second period, right? This guy has only 2s and 2p orbitals. But from third period onwards, they have 3s, 3p and 3d also already. If you see the electronic configurations also, right? So you see that uh, there are more elements, there are more uh, orbitals available. That's, why reason, that's the reason why they have an anomaly, but this an anomaly. And this anomaly is called Diagonal relationship in periodic chain. Right. So we'll take some examples now. Are the oxidation state and covalency of aluminium in AlClH2O5 plus 2 same? So let's write oxidation state first. And let's assume oxidation state is X. Oxidation state of aluminium is X. 
so light aluminium oxidation state x chlorine is minus 1 water is 0 because it's a neutral molecule and the whole oxidation state is total is plus 2 so let me add this x for aluminium 1 aluminium plus 1 chlorine minus 1 plus 5 into water molecule 0 total is plus 2 so if you solve this you get x is equal to plus 3 so the oxidation state of aluminium is plus 3 so I'll write oxidation state of aluminium is equal to plus 3 please note oxidation state is something which depends on the compound right so it may vary oxidation state of aluminium is plus 3 let's talk about covalency So if you see this guy aluminium it is attached to six molecules one chlorine five water right and on top it has charge you can ignore the charge also because now but if you see this aluminium is attached to five sorry six five water molecules and one chlorine atom so the covalency will be aluminum will be 6 5 for 5 hydro water molecule 1 for chlorine this covalency is nothing but how many covalent bond has made so there are 6 covalent bond so the covalency of aluminum is 6 and the oxidation state of aluminum is plus 3 and we see both are different so you can see that oxidation state and covalency of aluminum in this particular case is not same correct hope you understand this oxidation state is something you just assume it x and you know the oxidations of chlorine and water and the overall oxidation state of the whole compound with that you can find the oxidation state covalency is nothing but the number of covalent bond it has made so you can just find the structure of this particular compound and you can get the number of covalent bond it has made you can get the covalency thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.